Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and today on this very very cold but very nice as you can see it's very nice and sunny uh, January uh, Devon day we are doing some walk around videos on some new and used motorhomes and today we are doing one on this very very nice 64 plate 2014 New Venture New Surf so New Venture they're a company in Wigan they've been around for oh they were around for a long long time in fairness to it 30 40 years uh, uh, they do all sorts of things, but their speciality was uh, what I would call micro coach built. So what they do is a range of, of small coach built vans, so the caravan bodied vans, based on the uh, Fiat Scudo and the Citroen Berlingo. So the Surf is their smallest offering and very, very popular. Uh, we love a Surf uh, and any new venture and Roma Homes. We love those down in Devon because they're just so good for our Devon country lanes. Um, so it's built on a, uh, a Citroen Berlingo flatbed and then New Venture do this coach built body on the back of it technically low profile and it's very very uh, compact as you can see it's very narrow so the, the Berlingo is basically drives like a car they are fantastic to drive uh, really sort of potent pokey nippy 1600 turbo diesel engine very economical I've had people who've part exchange serfs who they're getting 40 plus mile per gallon although I'll never promise you you get that it does depend how you drive but they are very very economical and you sit down low uh, it's a complete car driving position which people find preferable sometimes for easy getting in and out and parking and things such as that and this particular one's really good condition we were speaking uh, for nearly a year to the uh, previous owner of this one trying to take it in part exchange because we do love a surf and uh, we finally got it we're really happy uh, so it's a 64 plate new venture new surf it's only done 10,000 miles from new so it's exceptionally low mileage it's on the newer shape uh, Citroen Berlingo which is much more modern it came out in 2012 uh, it's a desirable thing compared to the the previous one uh, handles better much more modern dashboard and uh, she's in really good condition in fairness to it so let's have a little look at it so she's done 10,000 miles these are uh, I think they're about 5.2 meters long you can see that's a long wheelbase VW next door to it and it's a similar length to that and uh, not too much wider than that either so it's a van that could use day to day most people who have these will use them as a day to day car or at least a second car they're ideal for that but because it's got the coach built body so compared to a van conversion like this Fiat next door which is egg shaped as you see there the uh, the surf being a coach built manages to make the best use of every inch of its width and also of course coach built vans they're basically made out of insulation they're like a caravan so they're made out of insulation so they're quite a bit warmer than uh, say a VW panel van which has doors and rear doors and are harder to insulate so they're nice cozy things and very very spacious as we'll see on the inside so walking around the outside first we've got some smart Citroen wheel trims, uh, body works all in very good condition. You will find with these new ventures the graphics tended to perish and get a bit crackly but this one uh, hasn't actually in fairness to it so uh, that's that's all good. Um, previous owner had a wind out Fiamma canopy fit to these brackets there he had a, a bit of a mishap with it and it sort of twisted so it didn't go away properly so that's been removed so when we do our preparation work on this which includes a full MOT full engine service we'll do the cam belt if it's uh, if it's due I'm not sure when they're due on these and uh, we will fit a, a new brand new Fiamma awning as part of the price price is 27.95 on this uh, so we've got double glazed windows another plus side of these over a van conversion you've got proper motorhome style double glazed windows which are much better for heat retention and they don't condensate so you've got a massive big lounge window they're very very light inside you've got onboard fresh and waste water tanks which uh, says that's where you fill up your uh, fill up your fresh tank there diesel goes in there don't get confused and put uh, water in there and, and diesel in there it's easily done so don't do that you've got an electric step on the back there and a stable door I love stable doors they're a caravan style stable door so if you have a dog you can open the uh, the top and not the bottom so you can get some airflow in without having your door completely open I think they're really really good um, one of the previous owners probably been a, uh, an older person has had a, a few grab handles fitted to the van um, they're in white they look a, a modern and they look okay we've got an extra security lock on the habitation door there which is handy and we've got a good sized gas locker you'll fit two six kilogram calagas or seven kilogram um 
uh, butane bottles or six kilo propane bottles and you'll fit two of them in there bonus on this particular one it is a nicely specced van and it has on the back a good quality reversing camera and it also has reversing sensors as well so because uh, your rear view it's obviously it's not massive on these so you've got a bit through the rear window and some from your side mirrors but you've got the camera and you've got sensors as well uh, on the back fridge vents so you've got a three-way fridge freezer runs off gas if you're not hooked up electric if you are hooked up or the engine when you're driving coming around to the driver's side we've got the toilet cassette locker thing is with the surface is the smallest one in the range and this is about the smallest van you're going to get out there with a uh, with a sort of proper bathroom so you've got a proper toilet and wash basin don't have a shower it was an option on surf you virtually never see them with it and it was a tiny space anyway but it's got a proper washroom and uh, toilet there and uh, bathroom window there a couple of brackets there where it's had a uh, uh, grab handle mounted on the inside and you've got your wastewater drains you've got proper fresh and wastewater tanks another massive lounge window just floods the inside with light and then your mains hook up there on the roof there's a digital to directional TV aerial like you'll find on the caravans uh, we can fit a solar panel if you're keen wild campers but it comes with hookup and, and leisure battery as standard uh, this is a flue for the Truma uh, blown air heating system Truma blown air heating systems gas only so if you weren't if you were on the mains just carry a little plug-in one they take virtually no heating it's a, a small space that's made out of insulation so they don't take a lot of take a lot to heat up but it's got gas powered very powerful blown air heating which is very economical as well in furnace to it looking into the cab side of things so she's done 10,377 miles she's got electric windows she's got uh, steering wheel controls for the stereo it's got the reversing sensors it's got a really nice mirror mounted camera so that can be on when you're driving all the time and you use that instead of your rear view mirror and it's all nice and modern with your air vents and your cup holders and such like in there these seats are height adjustable as well and i'm six foot and i can easily fit in if i was six foot two i could probably fit in as well any more than that i'd probably struggle a bit but uh, there's plenty of room for all but the tallest of people and the body works excellent there's no faults to speak of out here apart from that awning not being there and that will be replaced before it goes out so let's have a little look on the inside so you come in through the rear stable door which has got a bin on it and a, and a window with a with a blind and then we come straight into the rear kitchen area so the kitchen has got a single grill with a massive four burner gas hob on top of it with a wooden cover also got a wooden sink cover um, some people prefer that to the uh, to the to the glass so someone's adapted that to uh, to be like it as it's a bit easier to to use and then you've got four gas burners and a single grill no oven too small for an oven this one really and then you've got your big sink and drainer next door all with these covers so you can work on top of them above that you've got a plug for your kettle and a led led lights all the way around uh, and an led strip light there which is directional and then you've got a 12 volt socket and another plug over there which is really handy big storage cupboards here and here three-way fridge freezer it's only a little van so it's got a little fridge but there's plenty of room in there you've got an ice box a uh, little freezer compartment for some peas and some ice for your gin and plenty of room in there is missing a fridge shelf might be around somewhere possibly taken out to stop it rattling but if not we'll replace that before it goes out an opening skylight above that and a nice roof light um, let's have a little look in the toilet while we're back here so you go into the toilet compartment older surfs sort of didn't really have a proper toilet compartment but these later ones the new surf does so you've got a nice clear opening window roof mounted light mirror TV aerials in the toilet, why not? In furnace, nowhere else to put it. So it's a good quality digital directional one that though. So you've got to have a pole somewhere, so it kind of makes sense. Flip down sink, there's no water heater on these because it's not got a shower. There's, there's no point in taking up the space because if you think a water heater uh, is a big thing and it takes up a lot of room. So there wasn't a lot of point in having that. Uh, if you've not got a shower, just boil a kettle if you want some hot water. Good size storage cupboard in there with a hanging rail. So you'd sort of see that as your wardrobe. Remember it's only 5.2 metres as well this, so that is the uh, same size as a Range Rover car, so it's amazing what it fits in, because I'm six foot and I've got a hat on at the moment, hello, and I can stand up in here, so that's quite impressive in fairness to it, there's plenty of head height, nice big hecky roof light above, those massive side windows as well, and then inside you've got a twin sofa arrangement, 
both of these are about four foot long you can pull these together into a double and then what you do to make the uh, the, the length on the bed is you move these seats forward and then over your cab you've got a huge and that is a huge storage locker over the cab which is really really cool got loads of scatter cushions i've put two of them out and two armrests out but you've got another two armrests up there and another two scatter cushions you might choose to leave at home but up here you've got three or four infill cushions now they what they will do is they will help turn that area there into the foot, foot end basically so you can uh, can sleep lengthways stick your feet at that end pull these out a little bit and then you've got a couple of single beds which are six foot six foot plus because you can always overhang as well if anybody wants pictures of those i will make them up after i've done this video and can send the pictures out also over the cab you can see you've got your hole in the floor there you've got your table up there your grill pan your fridge shelf which we were missing before is up there so that's your table which goes on that leg and goes into that hole in the floor down there. Uh, one of the previous owners has uh, carpeted it. Underneath of this carpet is um, vinyl flooring, sort of sweet, sweet clear vinyl flooring. This is only loose, this carpet, but it's actually really nice in fairness to it. It's really nicely done, um, but it'd be very cheap to uh, remove that whenever it gets mucky and get another one. But uh, she's all in, uh, all in very, very clean condition. We've not touched this since it's come in. It came in just before... Um, Christmas shutdown, uh, but it's clean as a whistle in furnace to it. Thing I like about these later surfs as well, the upholstery is quite neutral, it's a sort of olive uh, coloured, and you've got a light wood finish, which makes the van just feel massive in furnace to it. So I can sit here on the sofa, put my feet up, not touching the sofa, plenty of room in furnace to it for that. Or well, you might want to sit the other way around and watch your telly box, which would be over there. You've got nice spotlights, roof spotlights up there as well. And she's all in very, very good condition, having only covered 10,000 miles from new. So this is the new venture, new surf, based on the new shape Citroen Bolingo. It's done 10,000 miles. It's at Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch. And she uh, will get a full MOT, full engine service, a cam belt if it needs it. The tyres will be changed if they're looking old or borderline on tread or anything like that. A 12-month no-quiffle warranty covering mechanical and habitational parts and labour, which is in-house, but we can can authorise work to be done uh, by other businesses if you are far off from us. A full valet and a full working handover on collection. Price is 2795 These always sell quick in fairness to it. So any questions you can contact us through the website or you can um, give us a call. During lockdown we are here working. Our calls are diverted to the Somerset branch. But if you give us a call they will uh, get myself to uh, give you a ring and have a chat about it. All of our vans for those who are confident it is the one for them are reservable with a refundable holding deposit subject to viewing when lockdown ends. Any questions? Highbridge Devon, New Venture Surf 27995 with a camera, sensors, TV area and more. Thank you very much.